hi everyone so today i decided to make um tomato paste homemade tomato paste healthy tomato paste the advantage of um, having your tomato paste made at home is that you have control over everything that is being put inside it's always very healthy no sugar no additives no funny gums and starch and everything and you can be assured that everything you are putting inside your um, your food is healthy so i have here two giant bowls of tomato or fresh tomatoes um, they were in the fridge for like about um, three days and now i brought them out um, the reason i decided to use two fresh jars of tomato this um, time is because by the time you finish making your tomato paste it's going to reduce like almost by 70 percent so i just wanted to make sure i had a substantial amount left so i'm also going to be adding beetroot to these to give those that redness and that starchy feel very nice and healthy uh, you can see how round it is then i'm also going to be adding lemon juice for the um to extend the shelf life after i pasteurize um so that's that's it's fresh lemon i'm going to be putting so at the end of the day i'm going to be putting this into the mason jars i bought my mason jars to to store them for close to um a year yes so we are going to be getting started now look at look at the mason jars all righty let's get started so the first thing we are going to be doing is to blanch the tomatoes that's to boil it on high heat um for a very short period to remove the skin because the recipe i'm um, using is the one we don't involve the skin so that we get a smooth um, feel from it so yes this is the boiling phase and we move on now the tomatoes is some of them are about to have their skin removed because they have been blanched so the next thing to do you can see the skin has peeled off some so the next thing to do in this case is to put them into cold water straight put them into cold water straight now once they are in the cold water the next thing to do is to start peeling off the skin it's going to come off easily like it won't even be stressful at all look at how easily the skin comes off so this is the skin on one side and the tomato plums on the other side now be um note that i'm not going to throw the skin away i'm still going to use it to make um stew sometime because skins of food generally contain like the protein contents of that food like the skin of your beans the skin of um, your whole wheat rice and all that's where the protein content always is so it's very important that you keep the skin so that you are preventing um food wastage and you are getting all your nutrition one way or the other So this is all the tomato um, peeled, the plum and the skin as I said. This is everything that we did and you can see how it has reduced now. So off we are going to go to ahead and deceit. So the next step is to go ahead and remove the seeds from the tomato plum. So there are basically two ways you can do this. You can decide to um, deseed your tomato plums um, and um, you know blend the old tomatoes like that without the seeds or you can decide to blend it with the seeds if you have a very strong blender so i basically i started by removing the seeds and but because i had a lot of tomatoes i basically got very tired and i knew that i was going to be sleeping there for two days removing the seeds so i just blended i ended up blending everything with the seeds since i'm not you know it's for me and um, i'm not um, selling anything so i did ended up doing with seeds but if you want to deceive it this is exactly how you would decide seed it um you remove the seeds and you have just the plums without the seeds then you end up sieving the water back and adding it to the tomatoes and um, you blend it the next step is now to go and um 
peel your beetroot if you are going to be using beetroot in your own recipe i advise this beetroot because this beetroot with the tomato paste gives your your tomato that you know that real tomato paste like taste that makes it like it's so delicious so sweet so i advise I, I mean i will not do this without using beetroot it just changes the whole game so that's the next step go ahead and peel your beetroot i could have used these beetroots um at the point of boiling the tomatoes if for example um i was not going to remove the skin i could have used the beetroot right there i'll just cut the tomatoes press the water out add the beetroot and boil it right there but because i was still going to go ahead and remove the skin um that's why i'm just using the beetroot now the next step is now go ahead and boil your beetroot for a few minutes uh, maybe about five to ten minutes till your beetroots are quite soft not very it doesn't have to be very soft you know just a bit soft for you to blend on the um in the blender with the with the tomatoes now the beets are ready and i'm gonna go ahead and blend the tomato plums like you can see i just they are not deceded anymore uh, i'll blend the tomato plums with the with the beets and we are going to have the tomato paste that is not yet um, dehydrated so let's see how it goes so now we are done with the blending um and i just want to show you how it is see how red it is is very very red so that's how beautiful it looks so repeat the entire process till we are done with all the tomatoes and beets um as simple as that then we get our um the 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 tomato paste before we go ahead and dehydrate now we have started our process of dehydrating and i'm going to be very honest with you if you have the more tomato paste you're making the longer this will be it will be very long so you need to be prepared for the entire journey like it took me for those two baskets of tomato pay um, tomatoes it took me about um about um like seven hours yes six to seven hours to finish dehydrating it so it's going to be very very long so in the process of waiting for the tomato paste to dehydrate i decided to squeeze out all the lemon juice um to just get be ready for um by the time i'm about to pasteurize my tomato paste so i just got this off the bucket list so this is to show you what the tomato paste will look like in the process of dehydrating as you can see i had to move it into two pots because the pot was already burning and i had not even gotten down to half of the tomato paste so i had to split it so this is how thick you want your tomato paste to be but if you want it thinner because i like mine thick like the real tomato paste so i always make it really 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 thick so that's how it's going to look now this is my final tomato paste the entire paste this is what it looks like the entire thing yeah you can see with those two giant bowls those two big bowls this is what i ended up getting i must say it is it, quite heavy because you know it's pure tomato paste there's no water content there at all so it's quite heavy so don't just look at it like um this is quite small you're going to use this for a really 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 long time because it's you imagine two giant bowls of tomato paste now that the tomato paste is ready i went ahead and put the tomato paste in um sterilized mason jars which i went i uh, i had to pasteurize because i didn't want to refrigerate now i only got four mason jars which was a mistake i should have gotten eight mason jars but i only got four um at the end of the day i had to use um 
plastic my normal plastic bowls for the remaining and i put them in the in the freezer but these ones i went ahead to pasteurize look at look at how the look the final look so in the next the video i'm going to teach you how to pasteurize your 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 paste so you can use this for pepper paste for tomato paste for jams and everything uh, i'm going to teach you how i did that such that you don't have to put it in the freezer or anything it's just going to be fresh all year long that is what's going to be in the next video but this is the final look both in the mason jars and in the plastic bowls the ones in the plastic go bowls go into the freezer um for for shelf life and the one in the in the mason jars go into the shelf and that is our tomato paste so this is it this is what i ended up with um look at how nice and fresh it looks this is um the the tomato paste after pasteurization you can see it's completely pasteurized nothing goes in nothing goes out you can see how beautiful it looks very beautiful very yummy and this is like really delicious you dare not put it in your lip on your tongue you're gonna you will not you will not be able to resist it it will it's really really sweet so yeah as i said i should have gotten eight jars but uh i put the remaining in plastics and at the end of the day we are good to go please give this um, video a thumbs up give it a like subscribe to my youtube channel i promise to bring many um healthy food recipes for you healthy food alternatives for you that is what i'm going to be doing on my youtube channel um next time Alrighty, bye and share this video with somebody else subscribe subscribe subscribe